All right, welcome to the special edition of the Jordan Shoe Vault. A little bit different than what we normally do, but we're glad that you're here. While you're here, make sure you click on the red subscribe button so you never miss a video. Also, um, go ahead and like this video. Tell us what you think, but uh, it's a little different. My son sent me a tier list the other day and said, Hey, Dad, have you done one of these tier lists? And it's on tiermaker.com if you'd like to do one yourself. But he said, Dad, I think you should do on the next vault do a, a tier listing of your rankings and how you would put the um, Air Jordan signature shoes 1 through 33 so as you can see here I have all 33 signature shoes it, they may not be my favorite colorway of every shoe but there's each one of them represented there and I've created some tiers and I changed it I said here's elite superior excellent average and other and I'm gonna rank them what I think, and it's purely my thoughts, and what I think of this, maybe you have different opinions, you can let us know in the comments how you would rank them as well. Maybe you want to do one yourself. That's great. Tiermaker.com is where this is from. So I thought I'd start with the other category. What are the thing, the shoes that I would put down here? And there's a couple that jump out at me. Um, first of all, um, I would put the Air Jordan 15 there. I think that uh, Tinker's last shoe for a while, um, I think, goes there. There are several others, I think, when they started naming them after years, which would be the 2009, 2010, um, I, the 2012, I put down here on this list. Um, I also think that I would probably put down here, it's been, I'd be probably about the 21s, and the 22s aren't my favorite as well. I'd probably put them on the other category. But the 15 just looked weird. I mean, it's it's now that some time has gone by, it's kind of cool. The 2009 is actually the shoe that got me back into collecting. I went to an outlet and found that shoe, 2009. Not my favorite. The 10s, Dwayne Wade was the um, spokesperson for Jordan Brand back then. But a whole, I'm not a fan of this big hole in the side. Um, the 22s or excuse me, 2010, this is the 2012s, um, not a big fan of those as as well, but, um, you know, I think mm, they're okay, but um, then I got, I put back here the, sorry about that, the 21s and 22s as well, so that's how I kind of rank these, if I had to put them in order, I'd probably put the 21s here, Oh man, I'd probably put this one up here too. I like this one better if I'm ranking this level. Probably move that one there. The tens are my 2010s are my least favorite in the other category. All right, so if I had to move up here to the average category, what would I put on that tier? Um, I, you know, I didn't hate the 2011s. I didn't hate them. I, I liked the look. I actually have this colorway of them. Um, so. They're pretty nice. I, I I don't I don't hate them. The 17s when we go let's go to the Washington Wizard year 1718. Where I would put here in the average, and this is a tough one. I really did like the 18, um, but mm, I'm not sure. 19 I'd probably put here with that snakeskin shroud over the top. It's a little weird. I did a I just did a a vault on the the white pair. They did they just retroed um, for Carmelo. Um, not bad. It's a it's a good shoe. Maybe I'm ranking this a little lower than normal, but I put the 19 there as well. Um, this may be controversial, but I put the 20 here. I'm not a fan of the strap. I like the bottom half of the shoe, but the the top half I'm not a fan of the strap at the top. Now I started picking some newer ones. I put the 32 here. Mm, it's not my favorite of the newer the newer shoes. Um, I put the 30 here on just average. I thought the 30 could have been a bigger deal. I have the 20 and the 30 in the same level, which I thought was interesting once I got back to it. The 28 was a cool, I heard a great basketball shoe, but this, the tall zip up, it went real high when you zip this up. Eh, not my, not my, not my deal. And when I came back and I was finishing, I put the 16 here as well and I'm not sure I kind of like the 16 so I probably have to move the 16 way up here if I'm ranking these nah, I probably put the 20 here actually I put the 18 right there uh, hmm 
Right about the 30 before the 32. And the 19. Right there. I really liked the 2011. I kind of like those now that I'm looking at them more. But anyway, that's probably how I'd rank the average category. So you can kind of see where I've got what I've got left for these three categories here. Um, the 33s are still there. The 31s of the newer ones, and then even the 29s of the newer. But I still have all the older categories here sitting here um, still. Um, so the excellent category. This is tough. When I started getting up to these lot, these top three, it, it kind of got hard for me. Um, but I'd probably put the 33 in an excellent category. I know that may not be the most popular. Oh, this moved around, didn't they? Got to be careful. Um, but the 33s, I would put in there. I would also put the 31s in that category of excellent. Uh, I'd like, ooh, that moved. I would like, I liked the 31. I was, I'm a fan of the 31. So, you know, I'd probably put that before the 33, but I like the 33 as well. They're not bad. Um, also, I would put in this category, the 23s. Probably, I'll rank them in a second. I'll put the 29s here. Mm, I would put the 10s in this one. They weren't my favorite, but they were not bad. I would put the nines here and everyone's favorite two, right? The two. Now, if I had to rank this category, this is the, these are the shoes that I put here. I would probably rank the twos at the highest. I like, I actually like the twos. I would probably rank the nines. I see I'm going old school here. Probably go this way and put the 23s in here. I'd probably do it that way. That's how I'd rank the excellent level. Now, it leaves me with two two categories for these, and these are everyone's favorite, right? Everyone's favorite shoes. Well, not everyone's, but at least they're mine. So I have the superior level. In the superior level, I put the sevens. Why? Well, they're his, they worn them on the dream team. They're the sevens. They're, they're important to me. I put the 14s here. That's the last shot. You know, that's a, that's a pretty important shoe. Um, the 13s, which he won in his second three-peat, I put here in the superior level. I put the 8s here. I mean, in his first three-peat, that was the last shoe um, that he won before retiring the first time. I put the 4. I mean, the shot over Craig Elo. Come on. You got to put those up there. And I put the 5s. The last shoe he wore before winning his first championship. Now, ranking these. Ranking this level, I personally like the fives the best. I would put the fours second. Hmm, I think it's tough for me. I'd probably put the eights above the sevens. I'd put the fourteens last. So there you go. Now that's how I'd rank the superior level, my tier. Um, so here we go. Now I have, oops, sorry. I have the elite level now. And these five shoes left. So I'm going to bring them all up here. So now you know what shoes are going to go there. I have the 12, 11, the 6s, the 3s, and of course the 1s. So how would I rank these? What would I do on this elite level? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say I'd probably put the 12s at the end. Man, then I'd probably put the sixes next. And actually, that's my ranking there. Now, my number one all-time shoe's favorite is the Concord. Oh, no, is the Concord. Then it's the uh, Air Jordan 3s. Then I would put the 1, the 6s, and the 12. Popular shoes right there. Love it. Um, most of these, all except the 1s, are Tinker Hatfield Designs. A lot of these are Tinker Hatfield designs here. Actually, all these are. Um, and then you start losing, you get some Tinker here and some newer ones as well. But what do you think? There they are. My tier, ranking all 33 silhouettes of the Air Jordans. How would you rank the Air Jordan silhouettes? What would you do? Do you have something different? Would you put them in a different order? Um, do you have a favorite? Now, this isn't the colorways of each color, but... Hey, it's ranking the, the signature shoes of each and how I labeled them. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. How would you rank these shoes? 
where your favorites make sure you subscribe while you're here thanks for checking out this special video on my tier list of the air jordan signature shoes